since we're talking about kind of the complete performance, another way that is becoming more apparent now nowadays is the use of performance analysis. So, Sam, would this be something that you do quite often, um, especially I suppose during the the kind of lockdown phases? Would it be important for you to kind of get up to up to speed on say your opponents or your own performance as well? Oh yeah, absolutely. Like, but I was actually on the day I was speaking to uh, my friends running an academy in Scotland. I was just speaking to some of their kids, and it was one of the topics that came up. And I was trying to break it down for them, and it kind of made me realize how much how important it is. And I think the biggest thing about video is it gives you a picture in your mind. And once you have that picture in your head from the computer, then you can take it on the court. You know, if your coach is always telling you you need to play this shot cross, and you don't see it, you don't see why, you don't see how it's going to bring your opponent out of position. I think that's the first step of it is just seeing it in your head and then bringing it onto your training. And the other thing is when you're looking back in your matches, like the camera doesn't lie, you know, it just doesn't, it shows you how it is and that you've got to work on these things. I think when you're working with someone experienced that knows the elements they're trying to work on, I think it's so crucial. And of course, your weaknesses and your strengths, it shows you everything. It also shows your opponent's weaknesses and strengths. And I think the actual, the level is just coming up more and more with this video, like countries are bringing in different computer systems to be able to edit. And of course we're doing it ourselves in Bams in Ireland, but I can't put a price on it, you know, how valuable it is. And I think for kids, especially getting that picture in your head, you know, when we all chat about Bams in, every one of us has a different idea in our head of how it is. And the more you can simplify that and have everyone kind of looking at the same thing, I think it's really, really crucial. And I can't, I can't put a big enough price on it. Yeah, of course. Um, and Dan, I suppose as a, as a coach, uh, what kind of emphasis do you put on performance analysis, say even just with the high performance team themselves? Yeah, I think it's something that's uh, vitally important. Um, it's something that we have invested in and we hope to take it a lot further uh, coming in with the, the new coaching that was recently come on board, Davis Ephraim from Indonesia. Uh, to make the time to do it uh, a lot before events uh, in a different couple of ways, not only just the analysis of matches, but the technical analysis of players looking at the fine details. Um, I've been lucky enough to have been involved with a number of big tournaments where we've done some preparation and the advance of big matches and um, two that spring to mind was Sam and Chloe during the 2018 Irish Open, where we did a little bit of work before their semi-final finals, and also European Games, uh, where we did uh, a little bit of video just in, in advance of their their final, and it may or may not have had a massive impact on on the outcome, but if it even has that one percent, where they know that okay, their opponent prefers this return and they can be ready for it. And at, at 19 all or at 20 all, you can be guaranteed that if someone's going to make a decision, they're going to make the decision to play the shot that they're most comfortable with, the one that they play all the time. And that could be the difference between winning or losing a match. And um, hopefully the, the small amount of work that we did in advance of those matches uh, helped some, somewhat towards that outcome. Um, you'll have to ask Chloe or Sam that if it, if it had any impact, but... Uh, thankfully, they came out on top on those two occasions. Yeah, and I suppose um, a lot that's what's coming out about performance analysis these days is these fancy software and all that that, that people are using, um, especially in, in kind of football areas. So they have all these fancy camera angles and they're looking at different things and they're putting circles and all on it. But like I know for myself that it's it doesn't need to be that complicated. It can all it has to be is say even just watching a YouTube video. It is is that all that that you would do? Say Josh is just find a video of your opponent and just stop, rewind, go forward. Is it? It's that simple, isn't it? It's not something that is is difficult to do. We'll say. Yeah, definitely. I think it's a matter of like for me. I like this hitting the space bar. This start, stop, start, stop. And even just using this the back buttons to go back. 10, 15 seconds and just play it again and watch it again. Sometimes you can watch the same rally a few times because you see so many things that you could do to stick your opponent doing these things. Like if they make a mistake in a certain area a few times and you can find ways of 
using that against them because I mainly I like to look more so at my opponents like before I play like I like to do it maybe two or three times just to because the more times you do it then it's more likely that you'll remember to do it in the game because sometimes you get nervous in the game sometimes you can just completely forget everything but if I think if you do it enough times then it's in your head and then you remember it but also for me and video analysis like if I'm not doing like on my opponent and stuff like that or watching myself I find a player that's like similar to my style and someone I like watching then it makes it a lot easier to sit and watch Bamford and I can watch it a lot longer because I'm not the person that watch I maybe Sam would watch a lot more hours than me but I would like I need someone similar to my style and I can't just sit there and watch game after game of just random bumps and I need someone that's my style and uh, and watching like can I do what he does like watching maybe one of the top 10 players in the world and seeing if I can do what he does and why is he so good that's what I like to do